Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining about notation for query trees. In simple words, uh, how a query will be executed in your TBMS. What is the way to execute the query? How the query is fetched? How it is executed? Those process is explained in this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. And please don't forget to like the video and please don't forget to share the video with your friends. So let me begin the explanation of notation of query trees. That means how a query is executed. Right? So this notation describes the way how a query is executed internally. Internally, how a query will be executed. That process is described in this notation. So, the notation will be in the form of tree, a hierarchical structure. See, so here you can see the query will be represented in the form of tree, that is, a hierarchical structure. So, the notation is called as query tree. And also it can be called as query evaluation tree. So internally how a query is executed that is showed in the form of tree structure. And one more important thing, it includes the relational algebra operations being executed and is used as a possible data structure for internal representation of the query in a RDBMS. So whatever the notation I am explaining here, that is uh, for mainly for relational DBMS. So this execution is mainly for relational database management system. That is the uh, if you are storing your uh, information in the form of tables, then it is a relational DBMS. And one more important thing, a query tree is a tree data structure that corresponds to a relational algebra expression. This query tree is a data structure because it's going to store your query in the nodes that's why this query tree is a data structure you can see uh, this query tree is going to store the expression see that's why this query tree is a data structure it's going to store the expression of your query right for your understanding and one more important thing your query tree represents the input relations of the query as leaf nodes of the tree and represents the relational algebra operation as internal nodes. Right? Internal nodes, you can observe operations, join operation, select operation. Internal nodes are mainly represented for operation leaf nodes. So leaf nodes, leaf nodes of a tree is used to represent the input relations see leaf nodes you are giving the inputs hope you are understanding employee inputs from the employee table inputs from the department inputs from the project table next an execution of the query tree consists of executing an internal node operation whenever its operands are available then replacing the internal node by the relation that results from executing the operation. So here in simple words, the internal nodes will be executed first. The internal nodes, starting from the internal nodes, it will move to the root node. That is the procedure. Lastly, the execution terminates when the root node is executed and produce the result, final result of the query. The execution terminates when you reach the root node, the final node and the result will be displayed. The query result will be displayed. Hope you are understanding guys. It is a simple procedure to execute the query. For example, see here. Here, this is query is going to select the attributes. It's going to, sorry, it's going to project. It's going to project. Here you are using join operation. See. Here you are using join operation. You are joining the table employee. You are joining the table project. You are joining the table department. 
you are joining all the three tables and you are selecting project number department number last name address birth date of a particular employee and what is the condition location project location of a particular employee should be stafford and the department number here yeah, right under department number it should select the department number what is the staff for department number that will be selected and the manager for that particular department staff for will also be selected in simple words it will select the project number department number and the employee name of the particular employee who is working in the department staff for right so for example see here in this Three, the leave notes P, D, and D represent the three relations: project, department, and employee. Read the here. These three notes, leave notes, represents the table: project, department, and the employee. First, here, see, it will select the project location, Stafford, from the project table. Next, it will join the particular employee of that particular project location by comparing the department number from the department table. Next, it will select the particular manager of that particular uh, uh, department. It will select the manager of the particular department where the project location is Stafford. It will joining. It will join that also. Lastly, it will display all the related all the information about that particular employee. That is employee project number, employee department number, employee name, employee address, and employee birth date. It will. final result it will be displayed in the root hope you are understanding guys right so see in order to execute the query the node marked 1 in the figure must begin execution before node 2 see this should begin execution first before the node 2 hope you are understanding then because some resulting tuples of operation 1 must be available before we can begin to execute operation to because the output of this should be used by the to as the input that's why first i have to execute one then i have to execute this part that is second part right similarly node 2 must begin to execute and produce results before node 3 can start execution see before node 3 can start execution it should be executed first node 2 should be executed first what you are understand in general a query tree gives a good visual representation and understanding of the query in terms of the relational operation it uses so you can here you can see step by step procedure step by step representation how you are going how your query is going to be executed the flow of the query you can easily understand here it will give a good visual representation and you can understand your the in your your query in a more better way right so hope you are understanding the concept suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the video